Alright guys, um, I've got uh, some interesting equipment to show you today. Um, here and, uh, okay I'm kidding, I'm not actually going to be showing you this uh, chiller panel because this isn't very interesting. I'm going to be showing you what it's actually providing cold water for in this machine room. And I'm sorry about the noise but uh, there's a lot of equipment in here. We're looking at this. This here is a helium compressor which is part of a Gifford McMahon refrigerator. Um, and uh, yeah, it's a fairly standard compressor, scroll compressor, about 10 or 12 horsepower, I think. Um, you know, here we go, it even says it on here. So, uh, helium refrigerant, uh, circuit rating 17 amps, and it's 400 volt, three phase, running current 13 amps. So, it's, it's around about 10 horsepower or so. Um, and this, you can tell immediately this, uh, this is an unusual refrigerator to use helium as the refrigerant gas uh, and not um, one of the conventional refrigerants. Um, and this is quite a complicated compressor, but of course it's a bit more than a compressor. It's a compressor and um, a condenser. Well obviously it's not a condenser in this case because the helium doesn't actually liquefy, um, but it does the same job as a condenser. Um, so we've got our helium lines here, return here, and flow here, and flow the, is, I'm put my hand on it and it's actually freezing because it's just been through the uh, heat exchanger. Um, we can see the um, supply of helium pressure, as you can see, 2.2 megapascal, it's about 300 odd psi, and uh, return about 500, 600 uh, kilopascal, so about 78 psi. And we've got water inlet and outlet from um, the main chili unit we saw behind us. Helium filling, I'm guessing that's probably a Schrader valve, but I'm not going to take it apart. And um, we've got some other things here. We've got this big cable here. Now, this is not the power supply in. This is um, control voltage out. This is to control the actual um, expansion unit, which is the Gifford McMahon refrigerator. So the actual compressor doesn't just provide a flow of gas, it actually provides control. Control, And actually if you listen, you can hear that squeaking. And that is the pulsing of the helium as it flows through the Gifford McMahon cold head. And uh, essentially the Gifford McMahon unit contains a valve which alternate, alternately pushes and pulls on a piston using the helium and that pushing and pulling and expansion of the gas and transfer of heat via the piston is what actually provides the refrigerant effect. So this is not just the simple expansion of, of gas to provide cooling as in your conventional refrigerator. This is, this is a bit more complicated. And I'll explain how that works. But in this case it's used because we're looking for a very low temperature. And in this case we're looking at 4 Kelvin. So this the cold head will reach a temperature of 4 Kelvin, that's minus 269 Celsius. And it has a cooling power of 1 Watt. That's right, 1 Watt of cooling at minus 269 Celsius. And it uses this 10 horsepower scroll compressor to run it. And it takes um, uh, several gallons a minute of chilled water to uh, evacuate the heat. So it's not particularly efficient. Now I'll uh, draw you a diagram of how Gifford McMahon system works. Um, later, but uh, as you can see, maybe we'll have a bit more information here, uh, a bit more interesting stuff here. Cause lots of exciting equipment in here. As you can see, um, some wires to the music centre there, obviously very important yeah. in uh, this type of industrial equipment. So, uh, but that's for another video.